I'm sure you, like me, and everybody else we know, we're all starting to get those calls and emails and texts from friends, families, loved ones talking about, I just have to go outside. I've been in this house for three weeks. I am going stir crazy. I have cabin fever like a mother. Like this social distancing thing is cool, but I just need human interaction. I need to talk to real people, be in somebody's face, just do something outside of these four walls. Now, I get it. Like, like I totally get it. But first I'd say thank God God, you are healthy enough, like you're in a good place because there's somebody right now who is sick and they would give their right arm to be able to just leave the house, whether it's due to COVID-19 or some other illnesses. So just thank God for the fact that you are in good health and good spirits. And if you wanted to, you could go outside. But let's not forget those who are mourning, those who have actually lost somebody during this period. And, you know, this quarantine, this self-imposed quarantine that we're all experiencing, it's the least of their worries right now. They have a lifetime of mourning ahead of them. So I just had a thought that I wanted to share with everybody because, you know, while everybody is now experiencing cabin fever and they just want to, to, to go and do and be part of something outside of their own home, I want you to think back to two months ago, six months ago, a year ago in your own life and all of the things that you said I would be doing X, Y, and Z only if I had the time. Well, guess what? You have the time. Like, I'm watching people literally throw time away, take it for granted, time that has been given to it, like God has literally put the pause button on the entire world. This is the best time for you for whatever it is that you have been putting off, putting off, putting off and saying that one day I'm going to get around to it. This is the time. You have nothing but time. So what are you doing with it? I hope and I pray because I see people and it seems like people are binge watching on the Tiger King on the, and, and, and the new season of Ozark. If this is how you're spending your time, you're doing yourself, you're doing your family a disservice. If you are scrolling, scrolling, scrolling on social media all day, every day, you are literally wasting your time. And let me put it a different way. I once heard a preacher say, and I thought it was so dope. He said, yo, change the word time and replace it with life. You are literally wasting your life right now. You're not just wasting time, you're wasting life. So I'm asking everybody, sit back and think. Before we were all put into this quarantine, if you could write a list of three things that you would do if you had the time, what would it be? Now, I want you at the end of this video to go and write those top three things down and get to work on them. I don't care if it's taking online classes. I don't care if it's working on that business plan that you have been putting off because you have this idea in your head for this business, but you just never got around to do it. Write the business plan. Go take your online classes. Like if you have been saying to yourself, I want to get in shape, I want to work out, who's stopping you? Yes, gyms are closed, but you have nothing but time on your hand. Get down on the floor and do 10 push-ups. Do something that you didn't do yesterday because it would be a travesty. It would be a complete, just a travesty. It would be the biggest waste of your life if you came out of this thing the same way you went into it. Because people, there is somebody out there, somebody is sitting in there looking at the, the state of the world and they understand in times of crisis, that's when opportunity is born. Somebody is going to get rich during this period. Somebody is thinking of a master plan. Are you? Are you spending this time wisely? Or are you sitting back Netflix and chilling, throwing in old DVDs on the phone with your boys all day, on the phone with your girls all day, on social media? What are you doing with your time? 
Write down your top three things and get to executing. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.